Another model under evolutionary process models is what we call spiral model. The spiral model is an evolutionary software process model that couples the iterative nature of prototyping with the controlled and systematic aspects of the waterfall model. Using the spiral model, software is developed in a series of evolutionary releases. During early iterations, the release might be a model or a prototype. During later iterations, increasingly more complete versions of the engine root system are produced. It means that during the early stages of development, the, the initial circuit around the spiral might be used to develop a proof of concept. Afterwards, in the next evolution, sorry, the product specification may be produced. Afterwards, the architectural design. Then, the core functionalities, followed by other features as the system continues. Now, in, produ in producing each work product, we cycle through the regular process of communicating requirements, planning, modeling, construction, and deployment. Notice this evolution follows from the sequential work products of the waterfall model. It is also possible that prototypes are used at each cycle in order to collect requirements or generate proof of concepts. So it's really possible in the spiral model that you will require a prototype. The spiral model is also risk-driven. This means that each cycle commences, risk assessment is carried out. During this time, the commitment of all stakeholders are as certain. If the risks are high, the stakeholders may opt not to proceed with the succeeding cycles. By doing risk assessment at each cycle, the risks are decreased as the software development progresses. Also, anchor points are set. When we say anchor point, it is a combination of work products and, and also the conditions that are attained along the path of the spiral. You might consider these anchor points as milestones that the project team aims to achieve. Based on the outcomes during these milestones, the cost and schedule are adjusted in preparation for the next cycle. The spiral model is a realistic approach to the development of large-scale systems and software. Because of software evolves as the process progresses, the developer and customer better understand and react to risk at each evolutionary level. The spiral model uses prototyping as a risk reduction mechanism, but more importantly, enables you to apply the prototyping approach at any stage in the evolution of the product.